Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another Chart Nerd TA video. Today, we're going to be diving into Telcoin. The ticker is TEL against USDT. Uh, looking on the weekly time frame here for Tel. So first off, I wanted to point out what I've got in here for the chart. So I've got the, the 20 EMA here on the weekly, which is this yellow line. So this is the weekly 20 EMA, the exponential moving average. And then we've got the 100 SMA, so the smoothed moving average, uh, which is this pink line. Okay, so this is the 100 day uh, moving average uh, on the weekly time frame for Telcoin here. Now, what I wanted to point out is that since you're at this cross here for, for Telcoin, we haven't actually come back and back tested this, this 100 daily EMA since losing it. Okay, and you can see that this 20 was met as resistance uh, a good few times. This area is very choppy. You put in lower highs here, indicate, indicating the depleting buying pressure for, for Telcoin. Okay, lower highs uh, at, at a peak. And, and you came down, put the lower highs in. And then since then, you've been under this 20 EMA, this yellow line, um, until only recently where you broke above it. And right now we are holding it currently. But anyways, beforehand, we was under that key key resistance uh, and you had that death cross there between the 100 day SMA and the, the, the 20 week EMA. Now that's not been back tested. So what I primarily wanted to focus on here, we are above the weekly 20 at the moment. We did have an overshoot here recently as well, but we came back close below it. But right now we've broken above and we need to see multiple closes above this weekly 20, guys, okay? Above this weekly 20 EMA, we need to see multiple closes above it, holding it above it as continuation for support, looking for the breakout. Um, and potentially what I think we're, we're, we're looking for here. So if I get rid of the 20 EMA, I think we're looking for a potential retest of this 100 day EMA, uh, 100 week SMA, sorry, as it's creeping down on our heads. And potentially what this is, is a wave two, a wave one. This is a wave two. Right now you're looking for your wave three, potentially a wave four, and then some sort of extension to a wave five where this 100 day SMA is creeping down on our heads. And this is only, again, if we manage to hold this 20 EMA. So if we get the bounce here, we need to see a confirmed break tackling out this local high here for... Um, for, for Telcoin, which you can see was previous support. So you've come back, you've lost it, you've met it as resistance, you've come back for support, higher low than this low. Okay, so you've got two uh, higher lows there. We need to see the confirmation will break above 0 0.00319 to confirm for Telcoin, okay, that this is a wave one, this is a wave two, impulsive wave three, pullback wave four, and hopefully we can come up and actually break this 100 day SMA. But I think it's very obvious to see here the chain, uh, chain link, sorry, that was my last update. You can see that this is, these are two resistance lines here, this white trend line and this other white trend line, okay? They're two resistance lines because we came up to this point before, broke out, held it as support. Sorry, guys. Held it as support and then we broke out. We came back, back tested support here, came back to this area again for support. We lost it. Now we've back tested one of them as resistance. So this was the previous area of support that we've now turned into resistance. We've pulled back from that and are now looking for the breakout up to this next area of previous support looking to turn that to resistance. So I think that that is the potential wave three that we could be looking for here, where this is a wave one, this is a wave two, and you're wave three impulsively up to this target, up to this previous support that we haven't actually back tested as resistance since losing it. So we've come down and potentially we're trying to work our way back up at this point to, to, to these levels. Now, if we do potentially come up and eventually run into this 100 uh, week SMA here, I do think we'll meet that as resistance. Uh, and potentially tie up with that previous support as resistance, as I said, here at 0 0.004377. But I think we are marching towards that target. Now, it's what happens at this point if Telcoin does manage to keep this impulsive move and only this is only confirmed if we take out this local high here on the weekly. Um, it's only confirmed if we take that out and hold it as support. But if we do have this long up here from which is roughly i think it's quite a nice long up it's around 80 percent if we do get that i think at this point this is where tell will come in for a larger retracement potentially looking to hold support somewhere retracing back down to this low now it's all about holding that low if this was to occur okay again it's all thought experiment guys but i think we are in this impulsive move because if we fail to hold this low potentially you've got a larger this is an a this is potentially a b and then you've got a c wave down to, to lower targets here for telcoin in the near future um, but if you do start to get back above these and start getting back above key areas of support that we're now potentially looking to meet as resistance, okay, once you start, if you come back, hold a higher low and start to build some sort of base uh, throughout the year here for tell where, you're, tell where you're caught up between support, resistance, support, resistance, and once you actually break 
back above this key area of resistance that we was once holding as support, that's your confirmation signal, I think, for me, that, that tells retracing and looking to go back to its all-time highs there. So two key things to keep aware to, to keep in mind here. You've got the 100-day SMA that's creeping down on our heads on the weekly. Potentially, we could have, if we take out this high, we've got an impulsive move continuing up towards that 100-day SMA, which is previous support. Okay, guys, so do get this trend line in because I think Tel will have a, a harsh reaction off that to the downside once it's met. Okay, and that's a potential long up from this point, as we said, of around 85%. Uh, again, we do need to see continuation. We do need to see Tell hold support here and sort of coil up and continue this wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five to, to see that. Okay, if we do start to come down and lose this support line and you start to see Tell fall through and turn this to resistance, then I would expect that you're going to start retracing back down to these lows that we put in here in September. Okay, guys, so do get these key targets in. You've got key points of resistance we need to break out. We need to break this point here to see our confirmation of the break to the upside with that 85% long up to 4347. Uh, and if we fail to, to hold this level of support, uh, this ascending support here, wave one, wave two. If we fail to hold it and lose this and hit our heads, I would be looking to start a retracement back down to this low. And it would be all about holding support here, looking for that continuation where, you, as I said, you're building that base, that structure. You've got a low, a high, a higher low, and you're looking to break out. And once you start tackling out of this, this local high, that's when you've got those long targets up to that 100 week SMA and also that previous level of support back in 2021 for Telcoin that has failed to yet retest. So that is the long shot that I'm looking for, the retest of these two key support areas with an 85% long up from current price, unless we do lose support. So I hope you enjoyed the update today, guys. On Telcoin, please do drop some feedback below. Hit that notification bell for my next videos and uh, like, comment and subscribe as always. Take care, guys. Peace out. Have a good weekend.